Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says a serious operation is underway in Idlib. 500 Turkish soldiers are heading to Idlib with tanks and armoured cars to act as peacekeepers and observers. This intervention is the result of the latest Astana agreement by Turkey, Iran and Russia. The deal was reached in September. This is the second time Turkey has entered Syria. The first was in 2016 during Operation Euphrates Shield. Let's talk a little bit now about what the brokered agreement will do. Under the agreement, Russia, Turkey and Iran will set up four de-escalation zones in Syria, mainly in rebel-held areas. The Turkish army will provide security and allow aid into the safe zone. The area has seen infighting between rival Syrian opposition groups for control. TRT World's Turkey political correspondent Andrew Hopkins explains how this deal came off. Allahu Akbar. This is the Allah aftermath Allah of an airstrike in Idlib, an area that's still being fought over by Syria's regime and different opposition groups, and now the site for one of four de-escalation zones. They were agreed by Turkey, Russia and Iran at talks in Astana, areas where fighting should stop and aid be allowed in. We think that creating de-escalation zones will halt the bloodshed and stabilize the situation in Syria, enhancing the trust of all sides. But in Idlib, there's a problem. This whole area has been taken over by Hayat at Tahrir al-Sham, which includes the former Syrian branch of Al-Qaeda. What's more, it's right next to the border with Turkey, close to an area where aid is delivered to people inside Syria, many who were evacuated from Aleppo last year. It's also on a supply route to other opposition groups. Now Turkey has to decide its best way forward. I mean, I think since the beginning, we are not talking about a, a you know, a full-fledged military intervention here. Uh, what we are talking about mostly is uh, Turkey sending peacekeeping, monitoring force, uh, a limited number. Uh, but even this discussion of sending monitors into Syria means that there has to be an agreement with the with the local, you know, armed factions and and the local people. Turkey already has troops inside Syria. It's taken control of an area next to its southern border to drive out Daesh and the YPG. Now it will be involved in patrolling the de-escalation zone in Idlib. Idlib provides another dilemma for the Turkish military, how to continue to help people still desperately in need, but also remove an organization that's seen as a major threat to peace inside Syria. And with troops committed elsewhere in the country, the Turkish government has some difficult decisions to make. Andrew Hopkins, TRT World, Ankara. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has just said, and I quote, we are now in the process of taking further steps towards securing Idlib after expanding the Euphrates Shield operation. There is now a serious operation underway in Idlib. And Sarah Firth is in Antakya near the Turkey-Syria border. She joins us now live. Sarah, obviously a very much a developing situation. What more can you tell us? It is. Well, over the last couple of weeks, we've been here in this border area in the Hatay province, uh, and we've been witnessing the Turkish military build-up. There's a secure Turkish military area some three kilometres from the Turkish-Syrian border, very close to where we are right now. That's where we've seen convoys of military vehicles over the past couple of weeks gathering. And as you just said, President Erdogan speaking today at that political uh, party conference, saying that uh, this operation is going to be a step further than that Euphrates Shield operation that was Turkey's uh, military intervention in Syria that ended back in March of this year. So it does now seem that that operation is underway, as you said, a very developing situation. But just to give you an idea of how important this is for Turkey, where I'm stood right now is on the Turkish side of the border. You've got just behind me here the border wall, and on the other side of that, you're looking at Syria. So that's how uh, close this area is. That's how concerned we know Turkey's been about the uh, rise of some of these uh, groups that have taken hold in these border areas, and Idlib in particular, now largely under the control of an al-Qaeda group, uh, linked group called Hayat Tahrir al-Sham. So it's going to be no easy fight uh, getting control of that Idlib area as part of these de-escalation zone plans that have been drawn up between Ankara, Tehran and Moscow. 
though. But uh, Turkey has made very clear that it's not willing to allow these border areas uh, to have those types of groups operating in them. And it does seem, as we said, that there is this operation that is getting underway.